trust your first impression. What are you imagining? Right now, if I see, I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. I've started to float and I, uh, I, it's all just black. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Because we're not seeing with our eyes, we're seeing okay. with our senses. So we're going to use all of our senses. Just like when you walk in a dark room. And you can imagine if it's a large room or a small room. You can imagine if you're indoors or outdoors. You can even imagine if there's people in that room by using your other senses. So I'd like for you to use those senses today and imagine if this place where you are is indoors or outdoors. Trust your first impression. I see outdoors. Outdoors, very good. Tell me what else what other impression are you getting? Do you feel like it's daytime or nighttime? I feel like it's daytime. Mm -hmm. Because daytime feels very different than nighttime. You could perhaps feel something on your face, the warmth on your face. So now that we've established that we're outdoors and it's daytime, tell me if this place where you are feels like it's perhaps in nature or no. desert area. Oh, I feel like it's in a forest. In a forest, very good. So now we've established that we're in a forest. So let's see if we can feel with our senses how the ground feels where you are. Feels, ro feels rocky. Rocky, very good. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're walking on this rocky area, or just... I feel like I'm just standing here right now. Mm-hmm, standing there. So as you're standing there, do you feel that you are standing there from a low perspective or higher? How does it feel? I feel like I'm just on ground, mm -hmm. looking around. Mm-hmm. I see pine trees. Pine trees. Right? I see... I see brown ground. Mm-hmm and some rocks. Mm -hmm. I, see, I feel like I'm walking down a, like I've been looking down a path. So. Mm -hmm. so tell me everything that you see on this path. What are you observing as you walk down this path? Take me with you on this journey. Walking down, I see, I see trees and I'm looking around and mm -hmm. I don't see anybody. I just see that I'm here in the forest. Mm -hmm. So can you establish that you feel maybe male or female as you're oh, I feel like myself. Mm -hmm. I feel the male. Very good. Very good. So let's see if you can look down at your feet and see what you're wearing on your feet. I think I'm barefoot. Barefoot. Very good. Take a look at the color of your skin. What does it look like? I think I'm an Indian. An Indian. Mm -hmm. Feels like I'm wearing a buckskin. Mm -hmm. I'm just standing here. Mm -hmm. I uh, the buckskin. It's like a almost like a skirt. Mm -hmm. It's not pants or shorts or anything. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're just wearing it in one place or across your? Your groin, or that's where? That's why I have it sort of like a a sash, sort of, mm -hmm. with one arm is exposed, mm -hmm. and it runs down. I have a belt on, mm -hmm. like a like a rope belt, mm -hmm. and then it's one piece, but it looks like it's a dress because the belt's tightening around it. Yes. Look at your arms or your hands. Are you carrying anything? No. Mm -hmm. So let's see what it is that you do in this forest. What do you feel like you're doing there today? Are you looking for something? I'm, I'm not sure okay. what I'm doing. I'm just kind of just standing there mm -hmm. looking around and it's like I don't have any purpose, really. Okay. 
Do you seem that you're there perhaps to enjoy the scenery? Or do you feel like perhaps you're looking for something? I think I think I live here, mm -hmm. but I don't I don't see anybody else but me. Mm -hmm. I just see as if I'm strolling through mm -hmm. the forest. I'm not I doing anything. I'm not hunting. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking things up or searching. I'm just strolling, strolling along and looking. Mm -hmm. So let's go find something that really interests you, a place where you like to spend your time in this place. Take me there. I think I'm sitting on a rock, mm -hmm. a big rock like Cliffy. Mm -hmm. and it's, I'm looking down over from a, a high place, mm -hmm. high up in the mountain. Mm -hmm. and I'm looking down, I see a lake, and the lake looks looks rather small because I'm so high up. Mm -hmm. And it just feels like I'm just sitting there. Mm -hmm. I'm looking down, I see the lake. What time of the year is this? How does it feel? It feels like spring. Like spring. Okay. It feels like it's just starting to get warm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So let's find out where it is that you live or sleep. So I'd like for you to close that scene like a book and open it again to the place where you spend your time sleeping and living. What do you I have? see a tent. I see a teepee. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm laying in the teepee. Or not. I'm not, I'm looking across at me mm -hmm. in the teepee, yes. like I'm looking, I'm not seeing through my eyes, I'm mm -hmm. looking at myself. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I'm looking on the, I'm laying like on, like on, I don't know, furs or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I see a fire, I'm, I'm laying next to a fire. Do you but feel there's nobody else in the tent, or me in the teepee, but me. You're the only one there. I'm the only one there. Mm -hmm. I'm just laying there. Do you feel that I, anybody else lives with you there? What does it feel like? I feel there are other other people. Mm -hmm. And but no one's with me personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see who else is in your life. I'd like for you to go forward in a scene where there are others around you that have meaning in your life. Be there now. Where are I, you? I don't have a family, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just part of the tribe, part mm -hmm. of the group. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like, I'm, like I've got a wife or children or mm -hmm. Although I see, uh, I see a female and a child. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're mine. Okay, they're just part of the. They're of the part tribe. of the people, mm -hmm. but they're the one, the first ones that popped up for me. Okay, take a look at the eyes of that woman with the child. The eyes of the window to the soul. See if you recognize her in the lifetime of Ron. Does she look familiar? No. Okay. She doesn't. What about the child? The child doesn't either. Okay, very good. All right. So let's now go to a scene in that same lifetime when something is happening to impact your life. Something important. You tell me where you are. I think I'm standing by a creek. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Um, I, don't, I think I'm fishing by this creek. Mm -hmm. What happens there? I don't. Know. How do you feel there fishing? I feel at peace, I think. Mm -hmm. I, just, I like doing it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you do this a lot? 
Do you enjoy this? I feel like I spend a lot of time alone. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I'm always doing something by myself mm-hmm. and not with any other people. I, I'm fishing by myself. I don't see anybody else. I don't see anybody else fishing. Mm-hmm. And how do you feel about that? Well, I feel fine. Mm-hmm. I don't feel... You enjoy I don't this. feel like I'm missing out on something. Very good. So let's go now when you're older. Close that scene and let's go drifting and floating to a time when you're older. What's happening? Where are you? I think I'm, I'm sitting in the teepee. Mm-hmm. I'm cross-legged and I'm sitting there. I have white hair, like an old Indian. Mm-hmm. But I don't but there's no one sitting with me. I'm just sitting there. Mm-hmm. I'm sort of looking at the fire. Um, I don't feel like I'm sad. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I just feel like I'm by myself. Do you feel content with your life? I do. Mm-hmm. I don't think I. I don't think I. I can't feel that I might have had someone before, Mm -hmm. or if I ever had a family, I don't feel that. I just feel that I'm alone, and I feel that the people that are there, I go about their business Mm -hmm. as if, and don't really pay much attention to what I'm doing. Everybody seems to be doing their own thing. Mm Very good. So let's go now, closing that scene to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Be there now and tell me where you are. I feel like I'm laying in the teepee. And I'm just laying there and I'm looking up. I'm old. Mm -hmm. I can see my hair is white and long. I'm covered with furs on like the blanket. How are you feeling there? I can't get a feeling for it. I just can see that I'm I'm ready to go. Mm-hmm. Very good. So go ahead and take your last breath in that lifetime. Feel yourself leaving that body behind, looking back at that body, and tell me, what was the purpose of that lifetime? Now that you see it from the other side. I'm not sure. I think it's just that I was happy being Mm -hmm. with me. I didn't have to have outside influences too. Mm -hmm. I need people to be happy. Yes. I just found my own happiness. Wonderful. So let's leave that body behind. Tell me what happens after you leave the body. Where do you go? I feel like now I'm I'm up looking back at my body. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking about as you look at it? Looking at it, I'm thinking I look old, Mm -hmm. that I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. I don't feel sad. I just feel as if that was a good life. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to leave that life. Good. So let's leave that body and tell me your journey, where you go to after you leave it. What happens next? I'm going up, I'm going backwards, mm-hmm. and I'm staring at my body, mm-hmm. and then I'm now I'm staring at, I'm left, I've gone through, I can see the teepee, and I'm going up farther and farther away from it. I see it being left behind. I see myself being pulled backwards, not forwards, mm-hmm. as if someone's grabbed my belt and it's yanking me and I'm 
I'm in like a U shape because it's pulling me so fast. Mm-hmm. Where are you going to? What do you see along the way? I just see that I'm being squished up into a into a ton of light, mm -hmm. white light. Mm -hmm. I can see as I'm going farther and farther away from the TP, and I see the forest, and then I see the planet. And I just keep going. I don't see anybody. I don't feel as if there's someone waiting for me or mm -hmm. or someone's taking me. I just feel like I'm I'm heading somewhere. Mm -hmm. well, keep going. Let's see where you're heading to. Describe everything you see or feel. What happens next? I'm going into. A I'm in a light, but though everything is light. Mm -hmm. Everything around me, everything I see is just light. I see people, but I don't see, I can't make them out. Mm -hmm. I see as if they're all a bunch of like those little Christmas dolls that come out of each other. Mm -hmm. and But they don't have a face. They look like those kind of dolls that they used to carve. Mm -hmm. And there's just everyone standing around, and they're all on a cloud, and they're all on clouds. Mm -hmm. And I'm going up by them, I'm passing them. And I don't see where I'm headed, and I don't know Let's what keep, I'm doing. Let's keep going. Let's see where you end up. Keep going with the flow and see what happens. Tell me everything you see along the way. I see like I'm coming to a big, big cloud. Mm -hmm. I see Bill and I see a big building on the cloud. I see people just milling around and walking around. I think I'm going into this, going to go to this building. Mm -hmm. What's this building look like? It looks sort of like a big, uh, kind of like a castle, mm -hmm. but it's huge. It looks like it's made of brick. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm walking towards the door. There's people, like lots of people around. Mm -hmm. Everyone's heading into their own spot to go to, I think. How are these people dressed? Well, it looks like they're all no clothes. They're all dressed in have a white gown on or mm -hmm. something of that nature. Mm -hmm. But I, I can't feel what I'm wearing. It That's feels like I'm not wearing anything. Mm -hmm. but I'm just kind of floating there around. So where I feel like I have a body still. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I can't see the clothes that I might be wearing. So where do you go to? Going in through the door and walk into this big. It looks like a like back in the the, the medieval days mm -hmm. when you walk into a big room and there's a giant table there mm -hmm. and there's there's men sitting at the table. How many are there? It's like there I think there's five five. Four or five. Mm -hmm. And I come in and I'm coming to talk to these people. Mm -hmm. And I stand in front of their, I stand in front of the table. And they just look at me and they, it seems as if they're, they were pleased. They're pleased with me, but they, They don't look happy. Mm -hmm. They look like maybe I didn't do something I was supposed to do. Let's find out what they're saying, what they're thinking. What do they tell you? The first thing that comes to my mind is I, I wasn't very sociable. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that, that's what I feel. I feel like they're saying I didn't meet anybody. I didn't, I didn't reach out. 
I didn't talk. I was I wasn't friendly enough. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel when they say that? I, it, it just feels as if okay, that's that's the way I was. Mm -hmm. so I there's no negative to it. Mm -hmm. Not from them or from myself. Okay, just stating the fact. Just fact that I was that way. Mm -hmm. What else did they say? <clears throat> One gentleman says I'm not ready to go for another life yet. Mm -hmm. And then that uh, I need to study. Mm -hmm. I need to stay and study. What do you need to study? I'm not sure, but they have some kind of book for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And I'm to go study this book on... might be a book on what my next life is going to be. Okay. And how I can... and what my, ch my challenges will be. And what my life will be in that li next life. But I can't tell what that next life is going to be. Mm -hmm. But I know that I'm supposed to study this book. And I go into a another room that's, again, it looks sort of almost medieval. Everything's uh, stone. Nice stone. Uh, but it's all the, the entries are all, <coughs> they're, they're not square. They're, Everything's around it. Mm -hmm. The entryways around, around it. Entryways around it. I walk through. I'm in there, and I'm sitting in there, and I'm looking at my book. I'm looking at myself from not I'm not from my perspective, mm -hmm. from a perspective of me looking at myself reading the book. Yes. Let's find out what this book is all about. It's a book of my lives. Mm -hmm. It's a book of my past lives, and it even has future lives, but I'm not allowed to go look past my upcoming life. How do you know that? Is it something? It just that feels like I, I, mm -hmm. I know you in just, my, I know you just that know I'm not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. What do your past lives look like? Are you allowed to see those? I can't. I can't see them. Mm -hmm. I can't even tell you what my next life is going to be yet. But so, all I know is I'm looking at this book. Mm -hmm. What are you getting from it? I'm getting that it's telling me what my next life will be like. Mm -hmm. That it'll be what they've chosen for me. Mm -hmm. What uh, what I need to work on personally. Yes. So what happens next, after you study this book? What's the next step? I'm supposed to go in front of the council again. Mm -hmm. Well, they've asked me if I, do I understand, and then I, did I study? They're going to choose a proper, he says proper, a proper body for me in my next life. Mm -hmm. I don't ask any questions. I, I just listen mm -hmm. and I nod my head. What happens after that? I, I'm walking out and I'm among the other people, but everyone seems to be involved in study and study for their own for their own benefits. Mm -hmm. And everyone's involved with getting ready for their their next challenge. 
Do you interact with these people? I, we, we, we nod and smile, say hello. Mm -hmm. I haven't stopped to talk to anyone. It's as if everyone is busy. Yes. And they're all heading their own directions. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm walking out. I walk out and I'm looking out into the... I see a beautiful field of flowers and a, and a lake. A beautiful lake. It's kind of green. Mm -hmm. The flowers are beautiful. And I'm looking at them and I'm standing there and I know I need to go to, I need to go to my room, whatever my room is, mm -hmm. wherever that might be there. Let's find out where that is. So I go over a bridge that's on over this, over that lake, mm -hmm. the green lake. What does your room look like? It's, it looks like a room, like an apartment almost. Mm -hmm. Just a, a nice room. There's a bed. There's books. There's a, even looks like there's a television of some kind. Mm -hmm. um, this is my room. By the way, I'm sitting on the bed. What do you look like in this place? I see myself. I look like. I look like me. Mm -hmm. I look like I have brown hair and I have my features. Mm -hmm. I don't see, my body doesn't show as much, mm -hmm. but I see my face. I see my, my hair. Mm -hmm. and it feels like I'm wearing a, like a gown, mm -hmm. like a, like a sheet, like a real, like a silk gown. Does it feel it's light? White, very light. Mm -hmm. Breezy and it floats. Everything, you don't walk, you slide. Mm -hmm. It's like I, when I want to go somewhere, I'm not walking, I'm sliding almost there. Mm -hmm. So as I'm sitting on my bed, I'm looking, I'm, I have a wall, a giant wall of books. Must be a couple thousand books. Mm -hmm. Do they have titles? I can't tell. Mm -hmm. I see them. I see their binders. Can you tell by looking at these books what the theme of the books are? They almost look like encyclopedias. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're sets. There's like a set of black ones. There's a set of red ones. There's sets of brown, different brown colors, but they're in sets. They're not like mixed. There's maybe ten black. It's like you know, and they come in like tens or twenties. And I, I probably have read them mm -hmm. already. But I'm looking around at them, and I'm just sitting on. I'm just sitting on my bed. Kind of, I guess I'm waiting for them to tell me when I'm, when I'm going to go back. Mm -hmm. So let's fast forward the scene until the moment when you're ready to have another life. Tell me what happens. They're telling me that they've chosen something for me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? They're telling me. I can't get what they're telling me. I can't really under hear it. I hear it, see their lips moving. Mm -hmm. But I can't hear anything coming out. How does it feel to you? feels like I don't really want to do mm -hmm. what they're telling me. Perhaps that's why you can't hear them. You don't want to. I think, I think, I feel like I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. 
Do you feel and you I shut also them off? almost feel like I don't even want to go back. Yeah. Do you feel you shut them off? That's no, I here. feel like I'm looking but not listening. Mm-hmm. I'm watching them. I look like I'm intent. Mm-hmm. They probably feel, I feel like they feel that I'm listening to them. Mm-hmm. But I'm not, uh, I don't really want to go through with what they want me to go through with, and I can't tell what it is, but I do see, I see I'm going to be a male. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Do you know who's going to be in your life with you? Or are there any contracts that you make with others? I can't tell that. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. Well, I, I'm. I feel like I was just born. Mm-hmm. Like I, I miss the in between, but now I'm like a baby. Mm-hmm. Look around you. What do you see? Who's there with you? And my mom. I have a father and father mm -hmm. there. I feel like I'm in a cabin. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a like a pioneer's cabin. Mm -hmm. There's no. I'm in a crib. Or there's a crib. I'm not in it, but I can see it. I can see that I'm in it. I don't feel me. Mm -hmm. I can see my father. I see a man with a beard, long black beard. Mm -hmm. And my mother looks like she has blonde hair to me. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm feeling. It seems like it's a cozy place. It's there's a fireplace going. There's a single table in the middle of the room. It's got two or three chairs around it. It's nothing spectacular. It's like something you would see in the pioneer days. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's up in a, I feel like again it's in the mountains. So let's find out what happens in this life. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's move ahead to find out more about the life of this boy. I'm outside, I look like Huckleberry Finn, mm -hmm. sort of, mm -hmm. I'm wearing cut off overalls mm -hmm. and I see myself I'm just I'm running through the woods I don't have shoes on I'm barefoot mm -hmm. and I'm just running through the woods I'm happy mm -hmm. very happy and I go over to a I'm walking up to the creek by the house and I'm just skipping rocks over the creek what do they call you in that life? What name do they call you? I feel like John or Johnny. Mm -hmm. When I say Johnny, does that feel familiar? John, John feels more familiar. Mm -hmm. So John, how old are you there? I feel like I'm 10, mm -hmm. 10 years old. Where do you live, John? What do they call this place? I think I'm in Virginia. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm in the East Coast. Mm -hmm. I, I see. The first thing that just popped in my mind was I, I saw leaves that were orange and red and, mm -hmm. and different colors. It's autumn there now. It feels like autumn. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's East Coast. Okay. So what do you do during the day, John? I help my dad with chores. Mm -hmm. I follow him around. What does he do? Uh, right now I see him. He's 
he's got one of those old yokes mm-hmm. with a it looks like a like a bull mm-hmm. pulling it mm-hmm. and I'm walking I'm walking behind him and he's he's making a making rows for uh, to plant mm-hmm. so we can start seeding something very good but I'm still why I walk barefoot and I think it's strange because I'm walking through mud and mm-hmm. rocks and things and it doesn't seem to phase me any how does it feel between your toes having all that I like it mm-hmm. I like being barefoot on the on earth mm-hmm. on the ground mm-hmm. feels good to have that earth doesn't it between mm-hmm. your toes so let's now close that scene and let's move ahead to another important time in your lifetime when something is happening be there now I feel like I'm married and we're having a child or we're looking down at our child mm-hmm. we have a child mm-hmm. and I, I don't my wife looks like she's wearing a bonnet mm-hmm. and we're both very happy mm-hmm. what year is this child born in first thing came to my mind was 1792 mm-hmm don't know why, mm-hmm. but it seems like that's that's the number that passed flashed in my head, mm-hmm. and I believe the clothes match mm-hmm. that time. So, John, what do you do for a living now? I work in the mill. I see a mill. Mm-hmm. I'm not inside of it, but I'm outside of it. I'm looking at it. It looks like Sutter's Mill, you know, and then. Mm-hmm. When the water's coming through, and and that's where I work now. Mm-hmm. I'm like into it's it's a lumber mill. What is your responsibility there? I feel like I, I just I cut I make wood planks mm-hmm. for houses and for people to to come and use. Mm-hmm. Are you happy with your life, John? I feel very content. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm happy with my life. My life's simple. Mm-hmm. It feels stress-free. I know what I I know what I do, and I'm happy that I that I know it. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Let's move ahead to another important scene in your life. Something that's happening. What's going on? I don't know. I, just, I picture myself with a rifle. Mm-hmm. And it sounds strange, but I, I'm, there's a, there's a giant bear. Mm-hmm. And I'm pointing the rifle at the bear. And the bear is standing up and is looking at me. How are you and feeling? I'm feeling frightened. Mm-hmm. I don't think that my gun's going to hold this monster back. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens next. I feel like it, it attacks me. Mm-hmm. What does he do to you? Attacks me, attacks my left leg. My left, something happens with my left leg. Okay. I feel it's mauled. Mm-hmm. It didn't do anything really badly to the rest of me, but for some reason, it, I think it drug me around with my leg. And then it just went off, went off into the forest. I can see, I see it, I see it running off. What happens? I see the back of it. What happens to you? I'm just le- laying there bleeding. I can't move. I can't move anywhere. Thank I'm, 
Take me That's through. it. I'm going to I'm going to die there. All right. Leave I, that scene. See mm. yourself floating away from that body. And as you look at that body behind, I want you to use your mind to seal that leg back onto that body. Use your intention and put that that leg back together again. And tell me how that feels. I feel it's back together, but it feels like it's real, it's stiff. Mm -hmm. It feels heavy and stiff. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. use your mind as a soul to just mend that soul part of that body, that etheric body. Connect it back again. Connected. How does that feel now? Feels connected. Very. It doesn't feel, it still feels mm -hmm. like in my hip area. All right, so go ahead and adjust everything you need to adjust before you leave that body behind. Do any healing to that body so that when you leave it behind, it's intact. Okay. Very good. So let's see what happens as you leave that body now. Where do you go? I start to do the same thing. I look back at it mm -hmm. as I'm leaving. I'm almost saying to myself that, well, that life was done. Mm -hmm. And that was fun. Now, I wonder what my next life's going to be. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. Where do you go? Take me through it. I'm, I'm going, I'm rising again. Mm -hmm. I'm going, I'm following. But I didn't see a light as much this time. I see people, but they don't, they look mean, they look like they want to hurt me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're angry at me. Okay. These, these people, these people, I think, aren't That's very happy people. All right, let's find out who they are. What do they look like? Do they dress differently? They're, well, they're all dressed in clothes. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, each one's different. But the one that I see, the most antagonistic one, is, is a man, an older man. Mm -hmm. He has like a crew cut with white hair. Mm -hmm. And he's taking his hand, he's like trying to reach out and scratch me, mm -hmm. it feels like. Mm -hmm. What happens after this? I tell God, I say to Jesus, I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. And now I'm not there. But I'm standing, I'm standing, and I think I'm standing with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Just standing next to me, we both are wearing the traditional Bible clothing mm -hmm. of, of robes. Yes. Where are you? Look around. We're we're like on our own. I don't want to say cloud. We're like on our own cloud, but we're and we're looking over at the people. Mm-hmm. What does he tell you? And he's saying he wants, He says all they have to do is ask for forgiveness. Mm-hmm. And he says it's almost like that's what he's standing there waiting for. Mm-hmm. And I asked for forgiveness, mm -hmm. and that's why I wasn't among those people anymore, because I feel like if I didn't, I would have been one of them. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel, knowing that? At first it makes me sad mm -hmm. that I would have been one of those people. Mm -hmm. I feel like those people 
did something wrong, but I don't think I did anything wrong that I couldn't see. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was just to show me that if you do something wrong, this is what could happen to you. Mm -hmm. You could end up being unhappy and and hating others. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is ask for forgiveness. All I had to do was ask to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. And I was instantly. Mm -hmm. Does he tell you anything else? He's holding my hand mm -hmm. and he's standing there. And he's looking, he's smiling at me. But not a too, not toothy smile, mm -hmm. toothy smile. It's just a smile, mm -hmm. and uh, as if okay that I got it, that I understood, that I asked for forgiveness, that all all people can be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Now, now I, I, he's not there. I feel like I feel like he was there, and then he's not. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Where do you go to? I mean, I'm going back to the, that castle. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, someone's with me, but I don't know who it is. And I, I don't know the person. Mm -hmm. they, they're They've got their hand on my back, mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, like a, like somebody like would be leading you somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, with a little helpful push from behind. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna walk in this. We're walking in. And we're going up to the same council. Is it the same people? One man looks the same. The one who was in the middle. The others I can't really make out. Mm -hmm. But there's a, just that one man. And he's... I think he's been there many, 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 many years. Mm -hmm. He's like top of the council. Yes. And... Uh, they're happy, they're happy. That, for my life, what I did, mm -hmm. I was able to accomplish. I, I was there to. I was there to learn to. To accept love. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at that. What else? And I did all right. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm starting to it's fading. Mm -hmm. Just fading away from me. Mm -hmm. What do you feel as it's fading away? I just feel like you learned, you learned something, and now you're. I learned, and that was what I was supposed to learn, and now I don't know what my next step is. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'm supposed to, no one's told me to wait, to read a book, to a new life. I'm just kind of standing there. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens before the life of Ron. I want you to fast forward to the time when you're with the council discussing the next life as the man called Ron. Oh. Yes, I need to. Yeah, I need to, uh... I need to learn to not be so selfish. Mm -hmm. You want me to, in this life, to give love, mm -hmm. to give love to people. 
Well, and I don't think I've done such a great job of that. Of giving love? Of doing what they wanted me to do. Mm-hmm. Are there any people that are going to help you in the lifetime of Ron? For you to love? Well, there's all kind yeah, there's many, many. Mm-hmm. And the life of Ron has had many angels in it. Mm-hmm. Many people have helped me along the way. Mm-hmm. I don't see that I, with anybody making any contracts for this life. Or mm-hmm. I don't know that I've made one with Breck or, mm-hmm. or Emily. Mm-hmm. I don't even see them. All I know is what I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. So let's take a moment now to disconnect from that scene and let me speak with the Higher Self, Efron. Do I have permission to speak with the Higher Self? Yes. Thank you very much. I'd like for you to tell me why you showed Ron these lives. What was the purpose of showing him the first one that you showed him, for example? The one with that barefoot He's Indian. He doesn't need other people to find joy. Mm-hmm. But he can find joy within himself. He continues to do that. He continues. Mm-hmm. He's he's always had a way in it all, all his life. Mm-hmm of finding joy. He's been hurt by many people. So he looks to himself to find the happiness. Mm -hmm. So he's really that same, same man from that lifetime, still living, loving his own person, his own friendship. He's he's had to endure lives that weren't filled with people sometimes. Mm-hmm. And that you need to see that it is okay to be alone, that joy comes from within, mm-hmm. not from from outside sources. Yes. Why did you show him the life of the man who eventually got mauled by the bear? What was that life all about? Enjoying the earth? Mm -hmm. Fear. That was about fear. Mm -hmm. And then the there's nothing really to be afraid of. Mm-hmm. That you're going to live many lives. He's lived many lives. I've had, speaking as myself, mm-hmm. I've had many, many lives of. of, of being by myself. Mm-hmm. So he continues really to to enjoy his own friendship and his own time with I've, himself. I've had, especially in this life, mm-hmm. I've had many friends. Mm-hmm. Many people have been there for me. I've. It seems like when I stumble, there's always somebody there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are these people that are his angels that are put up to help him? Yes, some are. Mm-hmm. Some are, some are people that he meets along the way, but some were put there mm-hmm. as sort of roadblocks. Yes. That when, when I was 
stumbling that someone could pick me back up and put me in the right direction mm -hmm. and help me and make me help me feel love yes. help me to love myself now we looked at his life between lives and we noticed that the council was the one directing where he would go to next what is the purpose of the council doing this do we not have free will on this planet? We have free will, but we're, we, we have a contract. Mm -hmm. We have a direction. Mm -hmm. But our free will, when, our, when we're given a direction, we, it's almost like a matrix of a thousand different ways we could go. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we, we're chosen a path, but many paths can take you down and and, and teach you okay. the lessons that you need to learn. They don't have to be just one path. Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose of this lifetime? What is he supposed to be learning as Ron? He needed to. Is it love? He needed to be feel loved. Feel loved. He needed to feel that he was loved. Mm -hmm. But yeah. he's but he yeah. feels disconnected from his family. Things. You don't need your family to feel love. Okay. You can feel love. Everyone's your family. Mm -hmm. All people are family. So it doesn't have to be your own family members. It could be friends. It, it could be. be anybody. It can be even a stranger. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be your own family. Okay. So is there anything that he's accomplished from his contract of, of this incarnation? Well, he's got, he's received, he's learned to receive love. Mm -hmm. He's given love, even though there were times in his life when he wasn't so good at it. Mm -hmm. What about now? He's, he's getting a lot better now. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, he's learned that love is what it's all about, that the material things are, are, are meaningless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And can you tell him what his daughter's death was all about? Why does she die so early? That was, this was in her contract. Mm -hmm. We knew, I knew she knew, we knew, I know, Ron knows. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make but it easy. It doesn't make it easier, but they had a contract. She was here for Ron. She didn't necessarily even want to come on this trip. Mm -hmm. But she knew that by coming here that Rod could be taught mm -hmm. a lesson by loving her, first of all, and how much love you can have for somebody when they're not there any longer. Mm -hmm. How is Breck now? Breck is light and she's, she's happy. Mm -hmm. She says, I love, love, love you to me. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that we can speak with Breck directly today? Would the light allow that today? I don't think so. So what message does she have? She... She loves me that... She's always left me and that she... I will learn more. I will learn, learn more on my death. But she's here. She's always here. Mm -hmm. She knows. She watches me. Mm -hmm. So nothing gets by her? No. Is there anything that she would like Ron to do for her? 
in her memory. Ron knows what Breck didn't like. Mm -hmm. And what changes he should make. Mm -hmm. And has been making. Breck's proud of the changes that he's made. Very good. Does she have anything else to say today? I love, love, love you. That's what she says to him. Mm -hmm. That's what she always said to him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Would you tell him what his partner is there for? She's an angel on earth for him. He wants to know if she's his soulmate or part of the soul group. She's a soulmate. Mm-hmm. They've been together before in different positions. Mm -hmm. Sisters, brothers, aunts, friends, lovers. She's here to, mm -hmm. she was here to put Ron on the right path. Mm -hmm. So they had a contract too? They had a contract together. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you would like to tell him about her? She is the yin to my yang. Mm -hmm. She keeps me grounded. Mm -hmm. Good. He says that he would like to bring happiness to others. What would be the best way for him to do that? What is his superpower? Ron has a good way with people. Mm -hmm. People enjoy his company. He's humorous. He's intelligent. He's sympathetic mm -hmm. and empathetic. People enjoy his company. So that's what he brings to others? He makes people feel better. Okay. Good. He may he helps them forget. He helps them find humor in things that maybe they wouldn't find humor in. Mm, very good. So it makes things light for everyone. Yes he does. Mm hmm. What would bring him the most fulfillment and inner peace and happiness going forward? To stay on the same path he's on. He's, he's heading the right direction. Mm -hmm. he's, he's learned a lot in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm pleased with him, he says. <laughs> Very good. The place where he's moved to now, in the Sierras, is that a safe place for him during these earth changes? I... S no. No. That there aren't really any safe places when the life when the earth changes. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be almost if you're lucky enough to be in the right place when it happens. Mm -hmm. Is that something to be concerned about? He's yes and no. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's concerning. Mm -hmm. But we're in here. It's, we're more. We're, it's like a play. Mm -hmm. We're here to learn, and 
we'll be here again to learn, mm -hmm. no matter what happens to the earth. So, there is going to be something happening. He's, these uh, planetary changes, the government cover-ups, something in the he's, solar system. He's a little paranoid sometimes. <laughs> However, there are changes happening, mm -hmm. and there are changes that will happen. Does he need to concern himself with them? Nobody should concern themselves with them because they're going to happen. Mm -hmm. Live each day to the fullest. Live each day mm -hmm. the best you can. Love, give love, receive love. Yes. Change she, changes, change happens. Yes. Just change go. Change for the better. Just go for it. Just go with it. Just live each day the best you can. Good. Should he continue painting? He seems to be very good with with it. He's, yes, mm -hmm. one has much joy in painting, and, and people find joy in his painting. Mm -hmm. And I think the most joy they find in his painting is the joy that Ron has in his painting. Mm -hmm. They see him joyful when he's doing that. Yes. Should he be selling these paintings? Will it help other people feel joy? Run with that cell. Mm. He gives. He gives them away. He gives them away. Okay, that's his gift. That's what he likes to do. Okay, good. What's going to give him the most joy moving forward, though? Doing where he's at. Mm -hmm. Taking care of his animals. Getting back to. Getting back to earth. Mm -hmm. Like he was as as that boy with his. Toes in the mud? Yes. <laughs> Does he need to get his toes in the mud? Well, Ron puts his toes in the mud a lot. <laughs> uh huh. And he's very, very happy when he does that. Mm -hmm. So today, as he saw that, that past life, did it seem familiar to him then? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, being where he lives now feels familiar to him. Mm -hmm. Has he ever lived in that area before? No, but he's lived in areas that are like it. Mm -hmm. He's been in the mountains many times in his life. Mm -hmm. How many lives has he had? Are there, is there a number? 713. 713. Are there here on Earth or uh, different places? Only a few on Earth. Only a few? Hmm. So where have been the other ones been? Other planets. Mm -hmm. He's been on no planets at mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. Where is this place that he goes to between lives? What is that thing? Where is this castle? In the sky? That's Ron's heaven. That's Ron's heaven. Everyone has their own have mm. their own mm. thoughts of when you die. I see. What you feel is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So that's where he goes to. He's got his own room there with his books. <laughs> Everyone has their own room. Beautiful. So when we all die in a lifetime, we go back to our, our home? We all die. We all go to our home mm -hmm. to regenerate to get our batteries back up mm -hmm. and then we're back in the fight again. Mm -hmm. Why is it that Ron was so afraid of dying before? Like most people, Ron's thought of what happens when you die mm -hmm. is that you don't exist any longer. Mm -hmm. and what he needed to see was that you do exist, yes. and you do exist many times. Is that why you spent so much time showing him that life between lives? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are there things that he's done in his past that he needs to forgive himself for? 
everyone's done things in their past that they need to be forgiven for. Mm -hmm. Some small, some big. Mm -hmm. Ron's have been no bigger and no smaller than most people. Mm -hmm. But personally to him, it's been bothersome for him. Mm -hmm. Would it be beneficial to do a forgiveness exercise with Ron today? To get himself relieved from all of this? Yes. All right. Would you allow me to do that for him? Yes. All right. So, Ron, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give me all of that remorse that you have. All of that, all of that stuff you've been carrying around for all of these lifetimes. Give them to me, and I'm sending them right up to the universe. Pull them all out of every single cell of every body that you've ever lived, forward and backwards in every dimension. Pull it all out. And tell me when I have it all. And I'm going to pull that out and send it to the universe. Now in that space that's so vacant, what would you put in there instead? I'd like some forgiveness. Let's put that in there. So I'm bringing it all in from the universe. A violet flame mm. burning through and allowing you to start fresh new without all of that weight carrying that you've been carrying for so long. And I'll touch your forehead and seal it in. How does that feel? Feels good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And now he wishes to forgive those who have wronged and hurt him with his actions. Can he go ahead and do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to ask Ron to go ahead and do a declaration in your own words to those that you have wronged. Please forgive me for any wrongs I have done to you. Mm -hmm. Please forgive me for any trespasses or negative feelings that I have brought to you. And I want you to envision that thought of Jesus standing next to you mm -hmm. as he smiles at you, mm -hmm. knowing that all you have to do is ask for forgiveness and you're home again. Mm. Mm -hmm. How does that feel in your body? feels good. It feels like I have electricity running up and down mm. my body. Right now. Very good. Enjoy that. Feel that electricity bubbling through all your, your cells. And I'd like the higher self now to do a scan on Ron's body. And tell me if you find anything out of sorts, health-wise. Ron's aware of... He needs to... He has some artery problems. Mm -hmm. But he knows that and he's getting it taken care of. Mm -hmm. Ron's a lot better than he used to be. Mm -hmm. He's a lot better health now than he was. Mm -hmm. What, what could make him even better? Exercise and eating right. Mm -hmm. Ron does not eat right. What would you like it to, to have him eat better? I'd like to see him eat more vegetables and like a child, he needs to be taught. Mm -hmm. He's got the palate of a nine-year-old. Mm. He likes to eat hamburgers and hot dogs and, and junk food. Mm -hmm. And that's what has tampered his arteries and heart. So can I ask the higher self and all of his guides that work with him to start changing his palate to where he no longer feels the desire, the craving for this food that is not good for him? Yes. Mm -hmm. If I can get a guide on his behalf to be like his personal trainer, to motivate him to eat healthy, to exercise, to get that fresh air and the mud between his toes, mm. so that he can start cleaning up his health. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to ask for the non-physical physicians now to start working on his arteries to make them more flexible, more free-flowing. Work on his body to bring it up to speed with all the changes that need to be made in the earth. Bring it up to where he's feeling healthy and happy. Okay. Do you see anything else in his body today that we need to take care of? I'd like for you to pay particular attention to any shadows or anything else that you his see. His hip. Mm -hmm. Which hip is this? His right hip has been, it's been bothering him. Mm -hmm. And he's fearful that he might have to have a hip replacement. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me which hip was the one that was mauled by the bear? It was the left. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's happened with the right hip. Oh, I think it's... Take him back and see if you see a life that's connected with his right hip. Give him that picture. picture I'm giving him is he's done it in this life. Mm -hmm. What did he do? It's through his activities of, of athletics. Mm -hmm. And then his lack of, of staying healthy mm -hmm. afterwards. Ron had a long downtime of not taking care of himself. Mm -hmm. So would you start putting some light in that hip today to start working on any scar tissue that he's had there or any any uh, inflammation that he may have? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to also ask for Archangel Raphael to begin working with him also. And as he sleeps each night to visit him and continue working on his hip and his arteries so that he can see improvement in his health quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else that we're looking at today health-wise? No. Can you scan his body and see if there are any shadows, any movements? Any hitchhikers today that we need to work on today? No. Very good. Excellent. You've been doing excellent work. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a final message for him today? Keep on the path on the path, you know what path. Keep on heading the direction that you're heading and doing what you've been doing. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much. Wide awake now. Wide awake feeling wonderful all over. Mm. Wow. I don't know if I made that up or if it came from me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was fantastic. That was awesome. Mm. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate that. Big hug you. Oh, Thank you. Wonderful. So let me ask you something. It was fantastic. Thank you. Is this something that you feel that you would want to share? Sure. Absolutely. Anybody can get anything out of me for them personally. That was great. Let them have whatever I, whatever I had. That was... I, I know that I, I saw the Indian. I can still see the Indian part of mm -hmm. that. Some of the stuff I don't know what I said. You kind of forgot some of that? Some of it I don't think I said it. Mm. <laughs> Actually. So there was a lot going on behind the scenes that you didn't even say. I was, some of it I didn't, it came not from me. Mm -hmm. I don't think. But. Well, as you watch this recording again and listen to it, 
more is going to be coming back. Okay. It's good. It's good. Thank so, you. You're welcome. So let's sit up and let's say goodbye to everybody. All right. Wow. <laughs> That was awesome. Thank it was you. awesome. Oh. It was really awesome. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but wow. Thank you so You were much. so descriptive. Oh, good. So what was your main concern when you came here today? Well, that I wouldn't be able to get in that state in, in the first place. So <laughs> the fact that I did makes me very happy. Um, if I said anything that was profound, <laughs> then, then God bless me. But... Uh -huh. it, it was so cool. Um, when Ron came here today, that was his main concern is, I can't, I don't think I could be hypnotized. Why? Because... Because my mind doesn't stop. Mm-hmm. Um, but you did a good job of stopping it, so... You did a good job of stopping it. I can't stop your mind. You have to stop it. I appreciate that. But um, how, did, how did it feel to be in hypnosis? Uh, felt uh, just almost like nothing. You know, I, I didn't feel like I was off somewhere, or, mm -hmm. you know, I, I was in control, I think, and it, it felt comfortable and warm, mm -hmm. and uh, it was... And it was so detailed. It was spectacular. It was so detailed. Even the book and your room, describing your room. Uh, what is it? I, I, you had, like, thousands of books in your room, yeah. and almost like a TV <laughs> <laughs> Who would think there's TVs that's in heaven, what, right? That's what I saw. <laughs> so, uh, would you recommend this to other Absolutely. people? Absolutely. If you don't do this, then you're you're not helping yourself. <laughs> this is a really amazing trip. Thank it you is so a really much. amazing trip. So now, what do you think you're going to do with this um, information? I'm going to go home and study what I just did mm -hmm. and learn from it. And yeah. uh, down the road, maybe I'll see you again. That'd be cool. Right. That'd be cool. So if you want a session with me, you can go to albawyman.com. Right now, we are in Los Angeles. And how long, how far did you travel today? I drove five hours to be here, but uh, it was five of the best hours I ever drove. <laughs> <laughs> On doing highway hypnosis. <laughs> That's how I learned. Anyway, so I do travel. So if you want to book a session with me while I travel, go uh, sign up for my newsletter and it will tell you where I'll be traveling, traveling to next. And if you're close by to that city, make sure that you book really fast. Okay, so until the next time, bye. Give me a hug. Thank mm. you so much. Appreciate it.